Chief Meteorologist Nikki D. Ray with KLBK's first warning weather. Today has been absolutely phenomenal. Cold start, warm afternoon, and now things are beginning to taper back off. But the sunset, hello, that is the icing on the cake. Take a look at it before it does begin to set. Yes, it obviously is setting earlier than the norm. Well, you know, since we set our clocks back, that's still the norm to me. I don't know about you, but we are dealing with some darker conditions earlier on, but beautiful sunsets. I mean, honestly, this is just breathtaking across the South Plains. We've got some clouds pushing through because we've got that southerly flow bringing in some moisture and Thankfully, thankfully, some warmer conditions, but just, oh, you can't get enough of those West Texas sunsets. So here's what's going on. We had the southerly flow, so we are dealing with some cloud cover across the South Plains, but this cloud cover is not going to stay with us all the way overnight, and neither are these winds. So winds already beginning to die down. Yes, they're still out of the south. We're at 14 miles per hour in the city as well, open to dim it, but we're going to begin to see these winds dropping off around to 5 to 10 miles per hour into the overnight hour. So many of these temperatures, sadly, they're not going to drop 5 to 10 degrees. They're going to be dropping around 20 to 35 degrees, depending on your location. 55 degrees right now in the hub, as well as over in Clovis, over in Morton, still dealing around 55 off towards the eastern portion into the rolling plains. We are slightly warmer, such as in Lake Allen Henry. Since we do have the lake there, it is going to continue to hold in the heat a little longer. Now we're dropping down, but we're warming up again. 70 degrees anticipated for tomorrow in the hub. 71 over into Dimmit, pushing further off towards the east. Dickens going to be slightly cooler at 69, 70 in Guthrie. Down to the southern extent, those temperatures will be into the mid to upper 60s and along the state line. We're going to be feeling pretty nice, especially when you compare it to the morning hours. Now we're going to clear off again. Then we warm back up thanks to a lot of sunshine and southerly flow. Now we will see a few clouds, especially from the hub city off towards the south and east. That does include Seminole over towards Snyder, and we could see an isolated shower or two over in the Snyder region. It's going to be extremely light, so the heavier rainfall will be to the southern portion and missing the West Texas region all in all, but still a few clouds will be in the mixture for tomorrow. Winds out of the south southwest, so we will have a little drying factor in there. 15 to 20 miles per hour. Then we head on into the weekend where temperatures at 75 degrees on into Saturday and we continue to stay warm and then everything changes. Here's what we're looking at. We head on into Wednesday. Temperatures will continue to drop down in the 30s. I'm being conservative right now. We actually could be dealing with freezing weather so that 10% of rainfall is actually 10% obviously of precipitation. If we see it and the temperatures cooperate as anticipated, we could be dealing with snow oh to the boy. north and wow. east. You just, north you and just said it. Yeah, gotta get I, my I snow boots out. I said the S word. Yeah. Yep. Probably first time this year, huh? It really is. Well, this, this, this season. This season, yes. But yeah. remember, yeah. I'm forecasting pretty far yeah. in advance. We just want to make sure you are prepared. All right, All right. Thanks good. very much. Appreciate uh -huh. it. You know, there are many different...